Powerful testimony there. Let's bring in our panel now to discuss this. As the plaintiff's case comes to a close, with us this hour, trial attorney Richard Schoenstein, and for the first time, civil rights attorney Adante Pointer. Thanks so much for, for to both of you for coming on today. Adante, I'm going to start with you. Talk to me about damages here. How might this affect the outcome of damages when we're talking about multiple generations in a family being affected by what was broadcast on InfoWars? Well, there's two levels of assessing the damages here, if you will. There's the emotional pull on the heartstrings and the way in which uh, this mother, who clearly her, her daughter was affected, and she described it for the jury, talks about how watching her daughter also had a profound impact on herself and the way in which their, fam their family dynamic plays out to this day. That's going to have that, that type of jury, uh, that type of testimony, I should say, is the type of thing that drives a jury's damages, drives their sense of outrage, and frankly inflates or contributes to the rising level of damages that a jury might want to award to her and her family. From the defense perspective, they're looking at it, I'd imagine, saying, look, Although this is a truly emotional testimony, we have to be focused on what these damages actually did, not what, how we could speculate how it might unfold and how it might play out and affect the ripple effect that it's had on everyone, but really the defense would want the jury to just focus in on the young lady and perhaps her mother and really be tightly, uh, tightly scrutinizing those level of damages. But I think that this type of testimony uh, certainly is the type of thing that would cause a jury to award more money than less. Yeah, and talking about that testimony, let's go back and listen to more of what Jacqueline Barden had to say. One 